Okay, children, gather around. It's story time. Please come to the front. Story time. You actually make You can if you want. It's story time. So excited. Gather around. Yay! Yay! Today I'm going to read you the story of the Cyclops and Nobody. Yay! <laughs> the Cyclops and Nobody by Kara Fisher. Illustration by Kara Fisher. <laughs> The Cyclops and Nobody. <laughs> On an island in the middle of the ocean lived the Cyclops by the name of Polyphemus. Mm. Polyphemus lived in a cave with his herd of sheep. He was a very mean creature, so no, no one ever wanted to visit him. I'm kind of scared. Oh. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Until one day, Odysseus and his men were on their way home from the Trojan War, when they saw the island and decided to land on the shore. They went to the cave, bringing with them some wine to give to the owner. No one was there, so they just waited for him to return. As they waited, they laid in his bed and ate his food and drank his wine. Suddenly, a giant hideous creature came stomping into the cave, closing the entrance with a large rock. When he turned around, he saw the men eating his food and sleeping in his bed, which made him very angry. He asked the strangers, Who are you? <laughs> Odysseus told him, I am nobody. Polyphemus, even more mad, picked up two of his men and ate them. <gasps> Odysseus knew that the Cyclops was going to kill him and all of his men, so he came up with a plan. He offered Polyphemus some of the wine that he had brought with him. And when Polyphemus fell asleep, he sharpened a stick that he found. While he was sleeping, Odysseus took the tree branch and stabbed him in the eye. <laughs> Polyphemus jumped up, trying to grab the men, but he couldn't see anything because he was blinded. He moved the stone from the entrance hoping he could get some light in. He knew that they would try to escape, so he felt the tops of the sheep as they went out. But he did not know that Odysseus and his men had tied themselves to the bottom. The men escaped, and when they reached the boat, he yelled at the Cyclops, It was I, Odysseus, who blinded you. Polyphemus heard him yelling from far away and picked up the rock, hurling it at the ship, but he missed. Yeah. <laughs> Odysseus escaped and eventually made it home safely, and the blinded Polyphemus lived all alone on the island the rest of his life. Yeah. Yeah.